This is the DC DC converter using ATX power supply transformer and uh, it is configured in the push pull mode so that's why here in the primary side the number of turns is the 0, 3, 0, 3 turns and uh, in the secondary winding there is a 0, 6, uh, 6, 0, 6 turns so here for the making of this circuit here I'm using a PCB of this steel based uh, controller which is made in my previous video and uh, this is the zero PCB at which I am mounting the transformer and uh, middle wire and uh, properly soldered the wires on the PCB so that we can make the proper circuit and uh, here these are the jet 44 and channel MOSFETs and uh, here I am using two pieces of this MOSFET because uh, we are uh, working in the push pull mode that's why we need two switches so here I am connecting the drain pins of the both MOSFETs to the primary side and, uh, sort, and connect also the drain pins and uh, common with uh, source pin of the MOSFETs and uh, this is the socket diode of uh, 14 ampere 200 volt and I am connecting the output with this diode so the here uh, for the field purpose in the output I am using a 50 volt 1000 microfarad capacitor at the output so here after completing all the completed circuit so it looks like this and uh, here I am using a 0 0.25 ohm resistor as your current sensing and I am connecting at to uh, the output so that we can uh, connect the load through this resistor and uh, for which we can sense the output current so here I have uh, removed the jumper to which uh, the current sensing process will be working. So here uh, for the power supply, here I am using a voltmeter for the testing. And uh, the voltage you can see in the voltmeter is uh, almost 15.32 uh, volts. So this is the input voltage uh, for this converter. And uh, this is the positive and the uh, negative and uh, now see the voltage at the output so I am soldering the negative and positive at the output terminals and uh, here I make sure I have connected the output to according to the circuit diagram which is also given the description and uh, here you can see the voltage regulation is uh, very efficiently working and uh, the minimum can be achieved is uh, 2 volts from this converter so here uh, I have set the voltage at uh, 4.3 volts at the output and uh, here I am testing at the output so for this I am uh, setting the output current to, because uh, this is the current constant current mode so the output current I have set to at 170 milliamperes and uh, for the testing I am increasing the output limit current and uh, it can be go up to 7 amperes so here I am trying to charge the lithium battery so with uh, constant current and uh, here uh, in this case the output current is 0 0.35 amperes which is uh, can be regulated using this potentiometer of uh, current control and potentiometer and uh, now here you can see the output voltage is 4.1 volt and uh, the voltage output uh, is uh, dropping because uh, we are constant current setting so here the output voltage is 4.2 volts but the output current is maximum 130 milliamperes so that's why the output voltage drops according to the current and uh, now here I am testing the 12 volt LED strip and uh, here you can see output current is uh, limited to 170 milliamperes but the LED is 12 volts so that's why the output voltage drops according to the load connected at the output it means uh, our constant current feature is working very well and uh, here are the 775 DC motor but uh, you can see the multimeter uh, voltmeter on the here it's uh, 40 volts but the current is limited very low at uh, 170 milliampere that's why the motor is not rotating properly so here uh, I have to uh, increase in the output current to properly drive this uh, motor and uh, 
here you can see when I increasing the output current also the motor starts uh, rotating after some time and uh, you can see when I limit the current the motor starts but the voltage at the output is constant at 40 volts so this is the very important feature of any kind of uh, converters which have a DC DC converter or any kind of converter having a constant bolt and a constant current feature which is very useful for the charging of uh, sensitive batteries like uh, lithium battery and lithium polymers batteries so this is the two test video and uh, also the circuit diagram of uh, this converter is given in the description and uh, the previous video which is uh, TL494 based controller and also the PCB I'll give in the arts uh, description so thanks for watching and uh, I'll send the next interesting video so please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching I'll send the next video